Can you talk a little bit about the medications to treat some of the non-motor symptoms? Well, the, the non-motor symptoms are many, and some of them we have better treatments for than, mm -hmm. than others. Um, you know, sleep is a big issue. Um, mood is a big issue. Uh, constipation. And so it's not that everything needs its own medicine, mm -hmm. but in select cases, we will prescribe medicines that, let's say, address constipation, or we will work, if it's a very difficult case, with our gastroenterology colleagues. Um, but addressing them is important. A lot of times they get kind of glossed over and they can be big quality of life issues. So there are medicines for many of them, uh, blood pressure fluctuations. Um, and sometimes it's a matter of taking medicines away. Mm -hmm. um, you know, For example, people who are really getting lightheaded from their Parkinson medicine may not need all their old you know, antihypertensive medicines. So it's about, it's about communicating with the, the patient and with their other doctors to mm -hmm. make sure that medicines they've needed, that they still need. Right. Oftentimes the non-motor symptoms feed into uh, the severity of the motor symptoms. And yeah. so if they're not addressed adequately, um, a patient's full-on um, from the, their, their full-on state is never really as good as it could be. Yeah, very much so. And, you know, as we all know, if you don't get a good night's sleep, or, you know, if you're, you're having GI issues, it affects your whole, everything about the way you feel. And so you can't ignore those because it, it yeah. will affect how good their Parkinson's medicines are working.